The following is a special presentation. It's time for the Campus News! Introducing the members of 5U Sorority, Gab, Bree, Christina, Marina, and Becca, ready for action. And introducing the members of Sigma Nu Fraternity, Frank, Phil, Jason, Aaron, and Anthony, on your marks, it's time for the Campus Feud! And here's your host for Campus Feud, Carlo Guadagnino! Hi everybody and welcome back to the feud. Uh, Fine you, Sigma Nu. Let's meet, let's meet everybody first. We don't need to go through the rules. You guys know how to play Family Feud. You know how to play Family Feud. You need me to go over the rules. Let's start over here. Fine you. I'm back at stage. You don't want to say hi to anybody? Christina Sharon. Grace Deke, hi Katie. Hi Katie. Gab Naples. Anybody you want to say hello to? Lex. Hi Lex. Marina Klein. Sigma Nu. Frank Salopec, House Tre uh, VP. Derek Williams. What's up, everyone? Matt Kirby. Aaron Cherry. <laughs> Anthony Willoughby. All right, first two team, the first team to, to 300 points gets to go play Speed Money or Speed Speed Round. It's for this right here, this lovely box of phone cases, and there looks like some laundry detergent. So. But I need Frank and Becca. And let's right take a look at those sponsors, Carlo. Oh, that's right, Eric. I always forget about you up there. It's, uh, let's hear about the sponsors. That's right, Carlo. We have a cavalcade of sponsors. Tonight's show is brought to you Buffalo Wild Wings, Wings, Beer and Sports, by Krispy Kreme Donuts, happy all around with a hot donut experience, by Mass Awards, for all your celebration needs, by Papa John's, better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's, by the Crooked Dock, the dock is always rocking, by JD Engraving, your one-stop gift shop, by Jimmy John's, freaky fast delivery, by Chick-fil-A, eat more chicken, folks. By Kroger, a supermarket close to home. By the Bethany College Bookstore, for all your academic wants and much more. And of course, none of this would be possible without the tireless efforts of the folks at the Bethany Broadcast Network. Take it away, Carlo! And speaking of the Bethany Broadcasting Network, is Amber Angelo, or Angelio, or however you say your last name, are you in here? Where are you at, Amber Angelio? Where are you? She's at top. There you go. Pierce, can you help me? And, Le and everybody, can you help? It's Amber's birthday, and we should sing happy birthday to her. Aww. We were going to we get you a donut, but our funds ran out, so you get a song instead. Oh, uh, go on down, right. Amber. You're the star today. On the count of three, everybody sing happy birthday to Amber. One, two, oh. three. <laughs> happy birthday. Baby, happy birthday to you. Baby, happy birthday, dear Amber. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. There you go, Amber Angelia. All right, so we got the residence life advisors. Uh, they beat Fata. Sorry, Fata. Thank you for staying, though. Five U and Sigma Nu currently. The next game will be Delt and Beta, and then Zeta and Alpha Sig round out the first round. Are you ready? Are you ready? Judges, are you ready? Let's play the feud. 
100 people surveyed. Top seven answers on the board. Name a trait that makes a fellow college student sexually attractive. A good body. A good body? Pass or play? I'm gonna play. This is, this, is a real, this is a real great way to start off the second game. Name a trait that makes a fellow college student sexually attractive. Nice eyes. Nice eyes. <laughs> Name a trait that makes a fellow college student sexually attractive. He's athletic. Athletic! <laughs> Name a trait that makes a fellow college student sexually attractive. His smile. Show me smile. One strike on the board. Name a trait that makes a fellow college student sexually attractive. Their personality. Yes. All right, show me personality. <laughs> Two strikes, find you. Name a trait that makes a fellow college student sexually attractive. They're funny. Funny! That was a good, that was a good answer. Sigma Nu, you ready? Four answers left. Name a trait that makes a fellow college student sexually attractive. They have money. Doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt. Show me money! 63 points this way. I thought that was a good answer. Let's see seven. Number six. Number five. Number four. Two more. Wow, we're just, uh, this, this game really has some funny questions. You know that, Eric? I hear you, but I'm going with what the public wants, Carlo, and that's what they did in the survey. 100 people surveyed, the top six answers on the board. Name something that you see at a sorority or fraternity party. A flag. Show me a flag. Dancing. Thank you, Kelsey Settle. Show me dancing. Play. Name something you see at a sorority or fraternity party, Bree. Chanting. Chanting. <laughs> Name something that you see at a sorority or fraternity party. Drinking. Drinking. Name something you see at a, soror or a sorority or a fraternity party. Pong. Pong. Pot! Oh, I definitely heard you say Pong! Pong! She said Pong! 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 Name something you see at a sorority or fraternity party. Uh, music. 
music. Hey, 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 hey. Leave Becca alone. Maybe she sees music. Me too. Name something you see at a sorority or fraternity party. Drug? Drugs? You guys are stealing over here. Name something you see at a sorority or fraternity party. Drunk people. Drunk people. Let's see number five. Number three. People surveyed the top six answers on the board. Points are still worth single digits. Name something you see at a college basketball game. Uh, people in the stands. All right. So the answer that was that was given was people in the stands. Number one, pass or play. Play. Name something you see at a college basketball game. Drinking. Drinking? Name something you see at a college basketball game. Cheerleaders. Cheerleaders. Name something you see at a college basketball game. A mascot going ham. A mascot going ham. One strike on the board. Name something you see at a college basketball game. Uh, parents watching their kids play. Parents watching their kids. That was a good answer. Two strikes, if you miss, find you has a chance to steal. Name something you see at a college basketball game. A basketball. A basketball. <laughs> Name something you see at a college basketball game. Basketball teams. Can't play the game without the teams. I think the basketball plays with itself. Yes. Find you, what do you got for me? 90 points up on the board. Name something you see at a college basketball game. Referees. Referees! <laughs> 90 points this way. Let's see number six. Number five. The points in this round are doubled. 100 people surveyed top seven answers on the board. In this age of the internet, name a reason a college student would go to the library. To study. Ooh, calm down. <laughs> to study. Show me study. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. To write a paper. Show me write a paper. <laughs> Find you's playing. <laughs> Here. 
In this age of the internet, name a reason a college student would go to the library. To sleep. Love sacks. Love sacks. Love sacks. Sleep. It's the first strike. Name a reason with the internet a college student would go to the library. Uh, for Wi-Fi. For Wi-Fi. <laughs> Two strikes. Sigma Nu, if she gets it wrong, you guys have a chance to steal. In this age of the internet, name a reason a college student would go to the library. To get a book. To get a book. Name a reason a college student would go to the library. To use a computer. To use a computer. You ready? Ready. In this age of the internet, name a reason a college student would go to the library. To rent the movies. <laughs> to rent the movies. Number seven. Number five. Number four. Number one. Entering round five, Sigma Nu 176, Phi Mu 128, is that what it was? 138, 138. The points in this round are doubled, 100 people surveyed, top six answers on the board. Name something a couple has a fear of while dating in college. Uh, their person, the other person cheating. Cheater! Pass or play? Play. I guess I get to stay with you. I guess so. Name something a couple has a fear of while dating in college. Pregnancy. Show me pregnancy. I didn't make the survey. Name something a couple has a fear of while dating in college. Being broken up with. Getting dumped, being broken up with. No strikes. Name something a couple has a fear of while dating in college. Fighting. Fighting. <laughs> Name something a couple has a fear of while dating in college. Being away on break. Going, well, being away on a break. <laughs> name, so, name something a couple has a fear of while dating in college. The other person being too clingy. Too clingy. <laughs> Two strikes up there, Frank. You, you miss, they get, the, they get the chance to steal. Name something a couple has a fear of while dating in college. Three seconds. Pass. Third X, we're going over here for a chance to steal. Name something a couple has a fear of while dating in college. Different plans after. Different plans after graduation. That might have been. Let's see number six while we're doing the math over here. Parents. Number three.
Big Manu's our victors. Sorry find you, it was lovely having you here. Go enjoy yourself. Give me two. I need two. Two of you. Speed round. Come here. We're gonna go to a commercial break when we get back. It'll be Frank and Will. Willoughby. We'll be back right after this. So who do you think you are? Walk through these gates and you'll find out. It'll take, oh, four years. Four years of rigorous academics, of grand tradition, citizenship, of making friends for life, and let's not forget, having fun. While you're doing all this, we have a job too. To ensure your success. And make no mistake, we're good at it. Welcome to Bethany, a small college of national distinction. We believe in tradition. You'll walk through the Ogilvy Gates only twice, as a freshman and as a graduate. You'll sign our book of matriculation on your first day. Greek life is as old as we are. As for the campus, you'll see the history of it all in the architecture. And here's something else you might notice. It's beautiful here. All 1,300 acres. Go explore and be inspired. Once again, welcome to Bethany. We believe in liberal arts. We do it our way simply because we've been so very successful. Employers want our grads. So do graduate schools. 98% of our grads get good jobs or into graduate school within a year. That's awesome. Nearly 100% of our pre-med students get into medical school. That's off the charts. But whatever your major, you will learn to become a leader, a critical thinker, and a problem solver. And that's what the real world is looking for. Through the years, we purposely kept our enrollment small to guarantee each and every one of you personal attention. A 13 to 1 student-faculty ratio. As for our faculty, they will not only be your teachers, but your confidants, friends, and mentors. They come from all over the world, but they do have one thing in common. A passion to see you succeed. As for you athletes, we are the Bison, Division 3 with a vengeance. You can tell by the hardware behind our glass cases and the banners hanging from the rafters. We believe in competition. And whether you play one of our 22 varsity sports on our numerous intramural teams or the equestrian club team, it would be very Bethanian of you to leave it all on the field. Actors, musicians, singers, painters, sculptors, you've come to the right place. We have terrific performing and visual arts programs and an accomplished faculty you'll truly relate to. So if you're dying to get to the next level, know that we're dying to get you there. So four years from now, we'll be asking you the same question. Who do you think you are? And when you walk through those gates for the last time, you'll know. Simply put, you are what you think. That's huge. And you're welcome. Bethany, a small college of national distinction. And welcome back to the campus. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's obviously time for our speed round. Frank is going to go first. We have uh, 20 seconds on the clock. I'm going to ask him five questions. The clock will start after I read the first question. If you get an answer right, you'll hear this sound. If you get an answer wrong, you'll hear this sound. You ready? Lights. Ready? Name a food you eat right, before, right out of the box. Pop-Tarts. Name something a student will pawn for money. TV. Name a sport that doesn't use a ball. Riding horses. Knowing what you know now, name one thing you wish you could, you could warn yourself as a freshman. Don't waste time being uh, screwed up. <laughs> Part-time management. Name a household product college students always seem to need. Toilet paper. <laughs> Name a food you eat right out of the box. You Pop-Tarts. Survey said? Name something a student will pawn for money. You said 
TV. Survey said, number one answer. Name a sport that doesn't use a ball. You said, the equestrians. Survey said, Points. Knowing what you know now, name one thing you wish you could warn your freshman self about. You said, time. Survey said, 20, there you go. Name a household product college students always seem to need. You said, toilet paper. Survey said, number one answer. For a total of 91, there you go. Let's go get, uh, let's get, what's his name? Anthony. Ninety-one points. Ninety-one points. So you need a hundred and, if my math is correct, hundred and nine. Nine points for the win. All right. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You got 25 seconds because the uh, it's a little harder. If you duplicate any answers, you're going to hear this sound. You got to give me another answer. Are you ready to go? All right. Lights. Spotlight, guys. There we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, the clock will start after I read my, the, the first question. Name a food you eat right out of the box. Uh, cereal. Name something a student will pawn for money. Oh, watch. Name a sport that doesn't use a ball. Uh, chess. Knowing what you know now, name one thing you wish you could warn yourself as a freshman. Better get to them books, boy. <laughs> name a household product all college students seem to need. Uh, wipes. All right, we'll take that, we'll take that. All right, we're gonna turn around and look right here. Come here, come here. Name a food you eat right out of the box. You said, that's what Frank said. We saw those answers already. Give me, give me what Anthony said. He said cereal. The number one answer. Can I get the ring? There we go. You gotta tell us what the survey says, Carlo. I did say it. I said Name something a student will pawn for money. You said a watch. The survey said seven. TV was the number one answer. Name a sport that doesn't use a ball. You said chess. How do you feel about that answer? Hey, I haven't seen any balls played in chess, so let's. Survey said. <laughs> Number one answer for that was swimming. Swimming. Knowing what you know now, name one thing you wish you could warn yourself about when you were a freshman. You said, get on those books, son. Survey said. Ooh. Tough crowd. It's tough, it's tough. Oh, number one was fake friends. You want to avoid the fake friends. Name a household product students always seem to need. You said, wipe. Survey said, <laughs> toilet paper was the number one answer. 135 points, we don't multiply that because, well, we don't have anything else to give you. But you guys move into the second round. So, yeah, there you go. Clap it up for Sigma Nu, there you go. Uh, we're gonna go, come here, come here, come here, come back here. Yeah, hey, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. Or actually, we're gonna, that'll be, that'll, that's it for this show. We'll be back for the, the next matchup that you'll see us will be with uh, Delt and Beta Theta Pi. So we'll see you then.
said, Ip-boo-boo-boo. I don't even know what that was. <laughs> 